Yo, what's up guys, Nash here coming at you with a brand new video and today we're talking about how you can capitalize on the holiday season. We're talking Christmas, we're talking New Year's because people are spending money this time of year and there's money flowing so how can you actually get your piece of the pie? That's what we're talking about in this one. So guys, basically there's a, there's three sales techniques that I personally have used. Um, some of them work better than others and I'll, I'll go over that. Uh, but basically there's three sales tactics that you can use um, to actually start making sales. Because what you'll start to notice is that um, you know people want to buy and they're expecting deals during Christmas, right? So if you can give them a, a ridiculous deal and unforget... Uh, if you can give them an unforgettable deal, then they'll be more likely to actually you know purchase. So. Uh, the first deal is probably the most obvious for drop shippers, but is also the most profitable, at least in my opinion, is free plus shipping. Okay, um, and I use this all the time, um, and I usually use it as as sort of a test just to see if the product actually works. But especially during Christmas season, what you can do is is really use it to to actually sell and move product, and uh, you know build up lookalike audience as well because it's great for actually getting you know customers in the door so you can email them later you know with your you know whatever marketing that you do. But uh, one thing that you can do to increase the amount of sales that you actually make with free plus shipping is you can uh, require a minimum uh, a minimum purchase amount. Okay, uh, there we go. So what do I mean by this? You don't actually have to set a, a minimum, but you can say, hey, uh, you know, you have to order two to get the free plus shipping offer or to get, uh, you know, them for free, just pay shipping, right? So do they actually have to order two? No, they can probably just order one if they really wanted to. But if you say they have to order two, they're not gonna be like, yo, this guy's lying, I'm just gonna order one. They're gonna be like, oh, I should order two and actually get, you know, the free plus shipping offer. So that's one way that you can do um, you know, that you can upsell your free plus shipping offers and actually make more money out of it. Because what I've noticed with AliExpress is, um, especially if it's the same thing, if it's the same item and you're paying like, you know, say uh, a buck fifty or whatever for the item and then another buck fifty for, for shipping, if you get two of the same items, you'll pay, you know, three dollars, so a buck fifty plus a buck fifty, but you'll still only pay that dollar fifty shipping. So you actually save money, um, you know, by upselling them that way. So uh, that's the first one that, that I do. The second one is 50% off, um, or I won't say 50%, I'll just say uh, percentage off, okay? Uh, because especially, well, actually we just had Black Friday, Saturday, Monday, right? So all kinds of people are, are doing like 50% off, 75% off, all this kind of crazy stuff. Um, you the, the whole goal of this is that we have to offer them like an unforget, unforgettable deal, right? So if we do a percentage off, I, I would usually rather not go below 50 because 50% seems like a pretty big number, right? If you do 20%, 30%, that's like, I don't know. It's, it's, I guess it's a lot, but it's not enough to get them off of Instagram necessarily, or at least the masses, the, you know, the average user. Some people might go for it, but you know, the, the grand, grand majority of them are not. So <clears throat> what you can do, and actually what I did for, for Black Friday is I did a 50% off, 50 off offer. So literally all I did was just discount. Um, I had something at like $49.99, down to $19.99, or I'm sorry, $39.99 to $19.99, okay? And then I said for Black Friday, take an additional 25% off. So it's not actually 75% off, but it feels like a very big discount because they got 50% off in the beginning, plus for Black Friday, they get an additional 25% off, and it did pretty well for me. So, uh, you know, percentage off, I'll, I'll just put this just so, um, you know, just so it's there, let's see. Wow, the internet went out. The uh, Hawaii internet kind of blows, so yeah. But we're back. Uh, so percentage off. Number three is you could do a uh, BOGO. They call it BOGO, buy one, get one free, okay? So I've done this a few times. It's not, it doesn't work as well for me. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm just doing it wrong or something, but I didn't. I never found like huge success with buy one, get one free. However, I know a lot of people that do. So. Um, you know, you could do buy one, get one free, or you could do like buy two, get one free, or buy three, get one free, something like that. And actually, if you're interested in learning how to set these up without, there's, there's a bunch of apps for it, right? But if you don't want to use an app and you want to learn how to set it up, I actually did a video about how to do it um, that you can check out on my channel. I think it's like how to buy X, get Y free or something like that. You can check it out. Um, but essentially, these are the three uh, methods that I use. Generally, I use free push shipping. 
in the beginning um, just to test a product, make sure that there's you know some sort of, uh, that I can get traction with it. And obviously you don't wanna be spending more than like three, four bucks on a product if you're doing this free play shipping. But then if it does work, then I go to the percentage off and I try to you know sell it for more. So now instead of doing free play shipping offer for 10, 11 bucks, now I'm selling it for like 15 to 20, maybe 25. Then if that really works, then I might go to the buy one, get one free, but I don't know. It hasn't really worked too well for me, but it's there if you want it. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. Hopefully you can uh, you know take some of these tactics that I talked about and actually implement them into your own Christmas, holiday, New Year's, the whole the whole bit to start making some serious sales, some serious money, and actually you know be able to afford some Christmas presents for your family, right? Because that's ultimately what we're trying to do here. So so hopefully again these were helpful for you guys. If they were, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the like as well. Let me know that you like the content. Lastly, go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know what you want to learn or what is you know standing in the way of you being able to buy those Christmas presents for your family. Because if it's money, hopefully I can actually help you out. If it's something else, then you know I don't know, might not be able to help you out. But if you have a specific question, either a comment or hit me up on the DMs at Nash Hagen. And uh, yeah, talk to you later tomorrow. I need you in the morning.